Hi, my name is Kelly McGinley. I'm a D4 student. I'm in the Research Pathway. I chose my pathway because I wanted to do something new, exciting, and different, but yet challenging at the same time while I was in dental school. I never did any type of research before dental school, so coming to Michigan, um, having the opportunity to do research was something that I was looking forward to. I found my mentor, Dr. James Boynton, and because I wanted to do some type of research project to do with pediatric dentistry. And I didn't want to do the benchtop research where you were looking at cells or mice or anything like that. Um, I wanted to actually interact with people and be in more of a clinical setting. So I talked to Dr. Boynton. I asked him if there was any of his residents actually that needed help. And he had a project that he had kind of started a couple years ago that he wanted to pick up again. So I jumped on it. It was hard at first to meet with Dr. Boynton. He's a very busy man. Um, I have a busy schedule, so it was hard to kind of coordinate that at first. But once we um, had a game plan going, we just rolled with it, and we worked with my schedule each semester and his schedule as well. A lot of it was individualized on my own, so um, I would use my own time for that. Yeah, managing time, it's, it can be very challenging with any type of project. I was by myself, um, so if I were to have any advice, it would be to maybe pair up with someone or get into a group um, so that you're not solely doing everything on your own, on your own time, but you're maybe dividing it up. Um, and using your, your flex time, your pathways time, um, very specifically um, really helps because you're not trying to plan a whole semester and then throw in your research project at the very end. You want to plan it from the beginning um, and then incorporate that into your own schedule. Um, we found that um, by counseling parents about healthy living strategies for children um, who may be at risk for unhealthy weight, um, that most parents were um, very adaptable to having someone in a dental setting talk to them about it. Um, they don't really get got a chance to talk to their physician about it very much because they're in the dental office more often. So it was kind of neat to see that being in a dental office, you can talk to um, your patients and your parents of patients through more of an interprofessional um, outlook on your care. I think that the most important thing that I learned from this project was that I can go outside of my own comfort zone and do something new and challenging and be successful at it um, and also be able to go and talk to other faculty and other people inside of the research um, department, inside of the pediatric department. So that was very knowledgeable. I also learned that um, it's, it is nice to talk to other people from a research standpoint that you're actually trying to collect data but you're also trying to provide them with a good care as well and you don't have to be part of something really big and you don't have to do a lot of cell and benchtop research to make a difference but that just the small counseling that I was even able to do it did make a difference to the parents that I interviewed and counseled and it also can hopefully project into a, a larger project in the future. If I have any advice for someone joining the research pathway is to look at what you really want to accomplish out of your dental school experience, look at what you want to accomplish out of your career and what type of dentist you want to become. Um, Michigan has a great opportunity for research and development and different scopes of practices that you want to do. So if you think that you want to do something different or you want to add to your person to make you more well-rounded, um, definitely look into doing the research pathway or looking into doing something that you originally didn't think that you wanted to do because you, you'll be surprised at how um, educational and how important it has become. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> B.